For the mobile version of this section, let's first refer to our Figma design. You can see here, this is the section uh, for our mobile version. On this section, our skills or these chip widgets will stay the same, but for our platforms, this card widgets uh, layout will be a little bit different because when the screen is really small, this grid view uh, will not fit uh, on that screen, okay? Let's say there is a mobile uh, and that mobiles width is really small, uh, there might be overflow issue. That's why we want to change the layout a little bit so that we can uh, place each of these cards on one line, all right? Not on one line, per line. So basically this will be column view. Uh, you'll see what I mean while we are coding it, okay? So let's close this Figma design. Uh, first, we can comment out this skills desktop and create a new column widget for the children. The first one will be uh, platforms and the second one will be skills. Now we need to define a breakpoint uh, for this section. Uh, for desktop, uh, we want to show this skills desktop widget until a uh, certain point. I mean, until uh, we reach, we we reach to the specific width, and then we want to sh show mobile version. You can say uh, that we have we already have this k min desktop width. We can use that as a condition. But uh, when I tested it, it actually did not fit very well on the screen. That's why I want to have another variable that is kind of uh, medium desktop width. Uh, let's create that, and I'll explain it while we're coding it. That will be uh, MED, medium, K, medium desktop width. And I want to set it to 800, all right? So this will be uh, our breakpoint for this section, for this specific section. So we can save it and come this uh, to this home page.dart file. And here, let's remove this. First one, let's start with a K platforms. We'll have a container widget. And for the container, first of all, I want to give this a margin. Uh, the margin will be edge insets dot only. I want to give a margin only to the bottom, okay? And that will be uh, five. This will be a space between each of our uh, platform cards. And the next one will be width. For the width, we can use just screen width. Uh, not screen width, let's actually make it uh, double dot max finite. And then uh, let's give this decoration. The decoration will be similar to the decoration we used uh, for our desktop version. So first of all, color. For the color, I want to use uh, BG like two. And for the radius, let's use border radius and border radius of circular. Oops, border radius of circular, just right here. And that will be five, all right? Uh, now the decoration is done. Uh, let's give a comma here. Now we can give the child. Mm. For the child, that will be list style, just like uh, the desktop version. And the first one will be our uh, avatar. Okay, let's not not avatar. Uh, leading. Okay, leading, and leading will be image. For now, it's empty. We'll loop through our platform items and display them uh, on each card. And the next one will be title. For the title, we can use text. For now, it's just empty. And let's actually give this asset a width of 26. What else? Okay, let's give this padding as well. Mm, for the padding, edge insets.symmetric. And for the vertical, we can give just 10. And for the horizontal, uh, let's make it bigger, okay? Let's make this const. Now, uh, before we save it, we don't want any error. That's why let's actually loop through our platform items. Mm, int i equal to zero, i is less than platform items length, and let's increment i. Now we can grab this platform items come down here and on this image as asset we can get the item at the current index and for 
uh, the value, we will get image value. And we will replace this text value with that platforms at the current index and with the title. Okay? Now, if I save it, okay, we can come down. As you can see, this is what I meant uh, on the Figma. So basically, on mobile, we want to display them like this. All right? You can see we have spacing, padding, everything uh, like in our desktop, but, but its uh, layout is different. So let's make this a little bit smaller because we are developing for mobile, right? Now, what, what I want to do is uh, I want to come just below here about the skills comment and I will uh, create a sized box widget or I insert a sized box widget uh, with a height of 50. All right, you can make this const and below the skills comment, we can create our skills uh, chip widgets. All right, that will be wrap again. And for the children, we can use chip widget just like before. Actually, let's copy paste from our desktop version because it's pretty much the same. All right, let's come to the skills uh, desktop.dart file and I'll scroll down all the way down here. Okay. I want to copy all of this and I'll come here, I'll paste it. Um, actually, what you, what you can do is to have uh, to create this or to grab this widget, this skills widget and put it inside its own file uh, as a new widget and you can actually use that widget inside this one and on desktop as well, okay? Because the, they, are, they are pretty much the same, all right? And we want to give this wrap some uh, spacing as well. For the spacing, uh, that will be pretty much the same, 10, all right? And for the run spacing, that will be uh, 10, all right? Mm, okay, let's make it double. And the last one, I want to align it uh, as alignment, oops, not alignment, we want to use wrap alignment off center, all right? Now, if we save it, if we come down, you can see we have uh, our skills and this um, platform items. Now we can clean up our code and show each version, uh, mobile or desktop, based on our window size, all right? So let's actually come down this column widget. We can grab this widget all the way up here. We can copy or cut it, remove it from here, and we open our sidebar inside our widgets folder, we create a new widget. Uh, the name of the file will be skills mobile, yes, mobile.dart, all right? A new widget, that will be a stateless widget, and that will be skills mobile, all right? Not like that, skills mobile, something like this and we can replace this placeholder with our copied widget. All right, let's import our missing components. Uh, let's import this custom color as well. Now we can use this skills mobile widget. Let's first of all save it. Let's come to this file, our homepage.dart file. And here, let's comment this out first. Uh, com let's uncomment this actually. We can set a condition if if you remember, we have this uh, size.dart file, right? We created a new variable that is k medium desktop width. And we are going to use this variable as a condition. Uh, we can come here, we can check if constraints dot max width is bigger than or equal to k medium desktop width. If that's the case, uh, then we want to show this skills desktop, all right? Else, we want to show our mm, skills mobile widget, okay? Just like that, we can make it const. And now, if I save it, now both desktop and mobile version of this section is ready. As you can see, now it's showing up a uh, mobile. So if we make it uh, bigger, it will show up this de desktop version. So. If we make it smaller, now we have mobile version. Okay, let's actually change this uh, card's max width. Let's 
set some boundaries or limitation uh, for the size of these platform cards and this chip uh, list widgets, all right? So for that, we can come here. Mm, we can wrap our column widget with widget, and that widget will be constrained box. And for the constraints, we can have box constraints, and we can give max width. All right, Mac for max width, I will set it to 500. And let's make this const. The reason why I'm setting this 500 as max width uh, is because I want to have some limitation on the width of these cards and chip widgets. Because if you remember, we have this size.dart dot file, and inside here we have this uh, k medium desktop width, right? And this is 800. Until this uh, section or this window size reaches 800, it will show up mobile version. And we will have this big space here and this uh, list widgets uh, will be kind of long. So we don't want that. We want to have some uh, limitation on this. Uh, we can have space around it, but we don't want these cards to be this big, all right? That's why I set this to 500. Uh, if it reaches to 500, mm -hmm. the size of these widgets will not change, all right? If we save it, if we come down here, you can see we have this layout. Now, this is much better than before, right? So we can close this file, and we can close this one as well, and we don't need skills desktop. And now we can uh, move on to the projects section here. 